was huge. Hey guys, I'm Jack of uh, Versatile Sportsman. Welcome to the channel. And uh, today I want to talk about the thought process while fishing. You know, basically how not to get skunked and catch more fish possibly. All right. So the other morning I went out and started uh, out frog fishing. And my second cast, I caught one bass. And I was like, yeah, you know, like it's going to be a frog fishing day. You know, I was excited because, you know, that's what I wanted to do but you know I changed up what I was doing only after 20 minutes now the question is well, why so I'll explain the situation right it was about 7 a.m. and there was other people fishing uh, right when I got out to they probably left like 20 minutes before I did right off the launch uh, it's a smaller lake a really shallow lake and it's uh, Rogers Lake in Mendota Heights. Uh, so if you guys want to go check it out, you guys can go check it out. Anyways, even though I caught a fish already in a different way, which is frog fishing, I was really okay with changing up what I had set out to do, you know. Uh, I retied two of my rods and said, let's go, you know. I'd switch to a plastic worm and a smaller swim bait because uh, it's a really good search bait, you know. I know this lake is shallow and it's really weedy and there's a huge algae bloom. So that limits basically all my options to choose from for a search bait. Now search baits to me are baits that you can basically cover more water. Basically you can cast out in multiple directions and bring it into you and cover a larger span of water instead of just spot fishing. Um, to me some of the best search baits are, you know, plastic swim baits. Uh, chatter baits, uh, swim jigs, those are basically my three go-tos, but you know, that's basically for a whole new different episode. I'm pretty sure you could look at them on YouTube and find other people's recommendations. So, but anyways, back to the thought process of fishing, you know. Uh, I've heard the saying that 90% of the fish live in 10% of the water. So I don't remember who said it, but I know I heard it multiple times growing up watching fishing shows and everything, right? So I fish with that in mind and just because one thing worked once or even twice it doesn't mean it's gonna work the whole entire day. On my second cast I had a follow and then a few casts later I caught a, I caught my first bass. I basically kept throwing and then I had another follow and then I caught another bass. I ended up finding my pattern. Basically, you know, what my pattern was, was, you know, open water near the weed edges on the other side of the weeds. Once I figured they were active enough to chase, you know, I kept at it and I didn't have to throw the worm or slow down my presentation or do anything. I, I found my pattern, my one pattern that uh, was working for me that day, you know. I know it sounds simple, but just to change what you're doing. It, it sounds so simple, but I've, you know, from my personal experiences, I've had the same issues, you know, to uh, throw the same thing over and over again, and I, I stay near the same kinds of structure, I go back to the same spots where I caught fish before. It's bad habits like that that will, you know, make you catch less fish. But the pattern I found you know, worked for me for the next hour or so, and I caught quite a few fish, as uh, you're watching, you know. And I actually had a really good day of fishing. So the main point of the video is be willing to change up everything that you're doing and where you're fishing. Uh, be versatile, basically. Um, pay attention to your surroundings and don't be afraid to switch up what you're using. Uh, don't be afraid to move away from where you're used to catching fish. And uh, know the body of water you're on. You know, basically know drop-offs. You know, ledges, uh, rock piles bushes, weeds, everything. So all in all, I had a good day of fishing. It was really fun and I ended up, you know, catching probably the most fish in a in a hour of fishing than I have in a long time just because, you know, for me I have not a lot of time to go out fishing, so I had to take advantage of uh every minute that I got. So, you know, pretty much how not to get skunked 
change what you're doing if you're not getting bit. <laughs> Don't be afraid to move away from places that you catch fish. Try different things and be open-minded, man. All right. Thanks for watching. Deuces. Fun, fun, fun.